ASAP. Looks like Mushi, by the way, is going to go for that Blink Dagger. If he doesn't die here, Sprout, he's going to eat out of it, but great Fissure Block here. And looks like Always Wanna Fly will pick up that. Keeper coming in, oh, no the, Yule Scepter just yet. They're bringing way too many heroes right now. And you see, because they are over committing on this, even if the, the Wyvern dies, it's whatever. They yeah. Have, get so much space in the middle and stuff. And Tiny has a Blink right now. Uh, this is not a good kill. Iceberg has ult, gonna try to dodge. Nice Yule oh. Scepter, but here comes Rave King and the zombie is going right on Always Wanna Fly. Mushi will land that sun as well. He's gonna trade at least one for one. The magic stick keeping Mushi alive for now. The Vangelusia chasing him down, but now it's going the other way. Iceberg gonna get huge crit down. No fear is about to go down. Looks like the oh, moon should be able to pick it up. No, he's gonna just TP home. Ice, ice, ice. We'll cancel that TP. At the end of the day, though, Mushi survives all of that. Good yeah. item to pressure Rave King. Oh, mid lane. Uh, Rave King's gonna pop that blame mail, but that's gonna be his, his first life forfeited. Anybody porting in to help him out? Looks like that won't be the case here. Silent Fissure is gonna be there as well. And that is gonna be a wasted Rave King ultimate. Tiny comes in a little bit too late. Might be in a little bit of trouble himself. Winter's Curse being set up here. Oh, Freezing Field. Or sorry, Frost Nova's gonna pick up the one kill. And then the Winter's Curse setting up another as well. Ninja Boogie taking a ton of damage here from Silent, but the heal from Wyvern. That Fissure pretty good though. Isolating, Crystal Maiden away, but Crystal Maiden actually picks up the kill on the other end. And Avatos back into jabs, and Nungrata is going to go down. So it seems like all these chaotic fight really helping out Mineski. Oh, get here. Freezing Field's gonna be there. Oh, Prophet completed that TP. I don't think he wants to be in here. Maybe he but wants no. to. Here's the backup. Okay, well, now Crystal Maiden in a little bit of trouble. Crystal Maiden, though, pretty tanky. Mushi comes back in, and here comes a Bloodseeker. It is gonna be a big run down. Look at how fast Moon is running. Gonna go in the bottom lane. That is a Shaker being surrounded from all sides. No respect to that Echo Slam. Uh, that Prophet. Rupture on that Prophet. Oh, yeah, no. he's popped already. Oh, that's a very bad position, just away from his team. Still at half HP though, doing quite a bit with his ultimate, but not going to be enough here. Moon picks up the kill, regains quite a bit of HP, and this is that Bloodseeker team fight that you're talking about. Uh, good, pretty good ultimate on the back line here, but Shaker a little bit too late to the party. And Mineski going to get a clean 5-0. They could get a tier 2 if they want, they could get Roche if they want. Okay. They will find a CM, but not just a CM. Oh, the curse is gonna be there! The heal on Ninja! I mean, they will lose Ninja, I think. Or will they? Ice 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 coming in. Nice Ghost Scepter as well. And now Bloodseeker gets one kill. TP up on Silent. He will make it home, barely. One strike. Looking to go on Moon. Blink, oh, Echo Wyvern. Slam. Oh, he got stunned. Oh, good, good Fissure. And a Silence afterwards. Wyvern will blink out, though. Here comes Mushi on the back line. Mushi going to take quite a bit of damage. Activates a BKB. Now runs towards the Steam Iceberg. This is a pretty good team fight for Windstrike. All things considered so far. Ninja Boogie, big ultimate, but not doing enough. Mineski is going to lose Mushi as well. This is a team fight that you've been talking about all game long. And looks like they're going to find it. There's a Blink Curse. They will get the one kill. A little bit too late. Ice Bear popping that BKB, running right in. Ice Ice Ice, no care in the world. In fact, just runs right into Iceberg. Ninja Boogie on the back line. I mean, Iceberg letting the full ultimate going, but kills nothing. Iceberg still in the front line, doing quite a bit. Blinking back in is no fear. Ninja Boogie looks like he will eventually go down to the ghost. Pops a freezing field before he dies. And finally, Mushi links in, tossing him away, trying to get the kill. We'll get it with a tree toss. Dominant, but not clean. But not clean. True. They had the drafting advantage. And on honestly, you could probably make a case that Mineski is probably the better team. Everything, uh, you put everything into consideration. Spectre is like an overall better, much better. I, I think I know what you mean. Like, Spectre, you could play from behind, that'd be okay. Troll, if you play from behind, is. It's more like a. Yeah, they want to snowball this. Yeah, they're pretty risky. Black Cannon flying out here. Jabs taking quite a bit of damage. Did pop the heal. Now, always want to fly. Oh, he's going to get blocked away. Great positioning by Ice Ice Ice. This should be first blood. And he'll drive for himself. Oh, yeah. That one might still die here. Tiny's moving over. Okay, but so is uh, Tie Hunter. What a shackle. Ravage is going to be there. They're going to burst one up, and here comes a Storm Spirit. Jow is going to get followed up as well. Oh, sorry, that was Enchantress dying. Excuse me. Quite a bit of damage. That was the pump up on the Tiger. Block or Cook? He's got it. Nice. He is going to find it. He Oh, nice toss. And that is going to be the kill. So oh, Tai just boarding right in. Storm is going to zip it in as well. They will find Nangrata. They don't need the Ravage just yet. No fears being chased on the left side. Storm zipping up the hill. Very low on terms of mana, but the double damage from Moon. 
Yes, buyback. He will buy back, and he is gonna come fight right into the shrine. Nice clockwork combo. He gets all three. Oh my god, this clockwork biting time for his teammate. Meanwhile, on the back line here, looks like Gyrocopter has gone down. Ravage still available. Will pop it, only finding the support. Storm zipping in again here. Well, there's a defensive swap, but not really giving damage uh, space. Yeah, they will lose one. They will lose another wind strike. Will at least move silent out of harm's way. But fly running in as well, but Jap's healing right back up. They're stunning the Tide, but Tide just doesn't care. Meanwhile, on the back line, it's going to be Moon jumping in. Swaps back out, always want to fly very low, but he wants more on Iceberg. Nice dodge away on the Avalanche. He still has the Aegis of Mortal. He will get Shackle, Ice, Ice, Ice on the low ground. No Ravage just yet. Oh, and it's going to be the Storm yeah, show. Everybody's going to die. In just a second, Storm zipping to the right. That's one kill. Storm still has half a man zips to the left side. That's going to be a secondary kill. Oh, like you said, they have the BKB, but uh, Tiny on the back line with that BKB as well. Iceberg, Ravage coming out here from Tide Hunter. A lot of the core still BKB'd up, but it's Moon. Just jumping in and out on Team Fight. And Mineski will force a GG out as Moon trying to collect more Bloodstone charge.